This is McCook's Mr. Bills, and honored to have you here. You live in a world full of snakes. For sure we do out here in southwest Nebraska. We have the legendary coach whip snake, for example. Here's a baby picture. And it's about 18 inches long. But when that little guy grows up, he can hit 9 feet. Some talk about 12 and 16 footers are out there, just waiting to be found. But I know of no human being ever bitten by them. Though they have the look of an Asian cobra, they're not poisonous. And one of the reasons for its fame is its speed. It's considered the fastest snake on earth. I said it's considered the fastest snake on earth. And the Native American said it could outrun a horse for a short distance. You bet. The coach whip snake. We have other snakes too. For example, bull snakes. And it's nothing to see a, a five or even a six foot bull snake crawling around. And we, of course, leave them alone the best that we can because they're, again, not venomous. But that doesn't mean that they're safe to be around. A dozen people are dying every year in America because they get bit by a non-venomous snake and not taken care of and their teeth, though very small, are still enough to break the skin of a human being and it would be just like scratching yourself with a dirty needle and not taking care of it. And by the time you do, it's too late. And they talk about thousands of people around the world every year dying by non-venomous snakes and because of the infection caused. That doesn't count the poisonous snakes. Now 400,000 people are bitten by poisonous snakes around the world every year. 400,000. Of those 400,000, because of the lack of anti-venom, about 40,000 die. 40,000 people every year die from poisonous snake bites. So it would be wise for you, if at all possible, to keep in mind that you want to keep your area as safe from snakes as possible. Now, of course, mowing your lawns and keeping the grass and weeds down is a, a big plus. Putting glue boards out into sheds or buildings so that if you catch uh, their 24-hour century that will last for weeks and weeks and if they catch a non-venomous snake you can of course release it if you so desire but if it catches a, a deadly poisonous snake you can dispose of it making your area and yourself and your pets and your family safer absolutely and now some will say well let's just put those snakes deadly poisonous snakes out into a pasture no one will ever be harmed by putting a deadly poisonous snake out into a pasture you could hardly be further from the truth because out here on our ranch that I work part-time for for 43 years <clears throat> they lose about six baby calves every year to poisonous snake bites venomous snakes rattlers mostly and a single bite can kill a baby calf very easily because they have enough venom in a single bite to kill 10 men so it can sure kill a baby calf in fact it also kills cattle though most cattle see the snake in time and get away from it but why even have the danger out there to begin with and never forget that a single pregnant rattlesnake and its offspring in 12 years can produce as many as 4,000 rattlesnakes. Now those kind of numbers are staggering and rest assured that's the last thing you want in your area or on your land. And more than a few cities have been sued because they found snakes in their city limits they took them and dumped them out in the country and the landowner sued the city. Keep that in mind as well. But here's an example of something that you might not think about. If you happen to be in a farming area and 
Most of the farmers nowadays have went to pivot system irrigation like this. But there's still old pipes from the old days when they were running uh, single pipes that you'd pick up and move by hand. And most of those are just in piles set off to the side or out behind the barn or something in that nature. Weeds growing up around them. But they become a perfect snake nursery. And a number of people that had a lot of trouble with snakes at their home. They finally located and found that the uh, pipes were where the snakes were hiding most of the time, except in the dead of winter when they went underground. But things like this you need to keep an eye on and keep yourself safe. Again, we live in a world full of snakes. There is no way to wipe them out, but at least we can control their numbers and keep them away from our families, our pets, and our livestock. This is McCook's Mr. Bill. Rate this film.